Through the American columns, moving at blitz tempo, went the distinction of first crossing the Seine. Patton's thundering armor breached the river, both above and below Paris. They forced the Nazi panzer divisions into the capital into headlong flight. One American spearhead smashed into Paris after German treachery flouted the armistice reached for the Maquis. It crushed a Nazi screen before the city. A tank and machine gun skirmish was waged at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. Nazi prisoners mounted as the liberating forces attacked the German headquarters at the Chamber of Deputies. Resistance was short-lived, and another haul of prisoners was taken. Liberation has come at long last, and not even the bullets of snipers could mar this ecstasy of freedom. General Leclerc's armored forces rolled triumphantly into their beloved city. Many of these men have carried on the struggle since 1940. For four long years, they dreamed of this day. The dispossessed have come home again. Although present unofficially, it was fitting that these Tommies found their way into the city. Soon they were lost in the united celebration.